Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you how to how to install the Intel Area 10 GX FPGA development kit on a computer to work with the OpenVINO. So as I showed you in a previous video I did the unboxing but now I'm gonna do the setup according to the Intel website. So in the description you will find the link with the instructions provided by Intel. There are very straightforward, I'm just gonna show you just in case someone needs to see a video. So um, first we need to locate the heating. It's very easy because it's huge. It's here in the board. I remove that one and install the doctor card for the memory. And configure a bunch of switches, deep switches on the board to be able to work with OpenCL and in OpenVINO. So um, this is my board, and the first step is locate the, the heating. As you can see, it's loose already. But yeah, the whole idea is just locate these two holes here, press and remove the pin, press and push. I only remove one. I don't have a tripod, so I just want to put my phone in this. It's not working, but it's okay. I'm not used to do this kind of video, but the, it's a $7,000 board, so. I think it's a good opportunity to do a video. But yeah, now as you can see the heat sink is loose. There's no grease there, anything just we just have to disconnect this cable here for the power for the fan. Put it apart and then we can see here where the daughter car for the memory is installed. The kit comes with a couple of, with three different cards, different memories, but according to the website, what we have to install is, uh, let me see which one is here, it's the DRAM, the one in the middle, uh, this one, we have to install. so first, check that the connector is clean, it looks very clean, be very careful because it's very easy to break and would be a pain if we do it. So yeah, the idea is to connect this here. Uh, now I'm gonna put my phone on the table. I don't wanna break this, so just wait. It looks very hard to connect, but actually it's very easy, the design is very good. So once the card is there, all the pins are connected, it's just gonna put the heat sink back. Same way as with the moment, we just put it in the right position, and then press. Until we hear the click. I think it's not very tight, but it does to work, so it's fine. Now we connect the power for the fan. There's only one position, that, that one, one way to connect it, so don't worry about remembering colors. 
and that's it we don't have to connect any other hardware to this board but we need to configure some switches let's go back to the Intel website yeah next to the power we have the first uh, switch the switch that we have to connect the configure so as we can see it's SW3 so we first locate that one Yep, and it's, it comes already in the position, in the, the way that it should be set, that's awesome. So let's see what else we have to do, now we have to locate three more switches that are next to the connectors at the back of the board, and we have switch four, five and six. Four, five, and six. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's start with switch four. Is one one zero zero. Switch four is one one zero zero. One one zero zero. Yeah. Switch five is one zero zero zero. One zero zero zero. And switch six is. Zero, one, 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 one. Yeah, perfect. So we don't have to change anything. Just check that it's like that. Uh, yeah, now we have to find a PC PCI Express port on your computer. So this is my computer. I hope it's mine, but <laughs> I wish it was mine, but it's not now. I'm working on this. So. Right here is the port where I'm gonna connect the board, so I just have to remove the lid there and plug the board. Yeah, the board will sit like this with the. Yeah, that's a problem, but it should be fine. This won't hit too much, so the fan will be pointing down, but it's fine. It has two fans, so one must be to blow and the other to blow out to blow the air up so it's gonna be like that okay this is the end of the video I, now I need to work on the, my cabinet but for your cabinet will be different ah yeah I was forgetting so once that the board is connected there we need to connect the power supply this is also in the instruction here we need the 6 pin power supply Make sure that it's in the right position. It won't go in a different, but yes. First, let's locate the power supply. This is very tight here. Yeah, I don't have cable for the power supply now. Then, okay, I have to look for that. All right, I will continue later. So. Hope you have a great day. See you.